in uh, Pennsylvania. Cornwall in southwest England is best known for its quaint seaside villages and picturesque ports. Christian, by the way, loves the Cornish pasties as well. Pasties. It is not well known, however, as a booming centre for the space industry. At least, not yet. But construction of a new spaceport in Newquay Airport begins this month in preparation for a Boeing 747 lifting off into the stratosphere in 18 months' time, where it will release a rocket from its wing, which in turn will send a load of satellites into orbit. Melissa Thorpe is from Spaceport Cornwall and she joins us now. Melissa, how is Newport going to compete with Cape Canaveral, the Americans, the Chinese, the Indians? How are you going to do it? Hi, good evening. Um, so here at Cornwall Airport, New Key, we're very different from those sites in that we are a commercial airport. And what we're doing is integrating space launch into that. So we are a horizontal launch site. So most people think of the traditional vertical launch that goes obviously straight up. And we're using an existing runway to use, and also an existing aircraft, the Boeing 747, to take off at the end of the runway, go up to about 35,000 feet and deploy its rocket from, from midair. You see, that's the bit I don't understand, because we've all been up in a 747, or most of us have, and, and, and we're nowhere near the stratosphere, are we? What's, what's going to make the satellites go that way upwards rather than come down to Earth? A lot of amazing technology. Um, so our partners at Virgin Orbit, they're a small satellite launch company, one of Richard Branson's space companies. And basically what it does, once the 747 named Cosmic Girl gets up to about 35,000 feet, it drops a 70-foot rocket that's under one of its wings, and that rocket then basically deploys up into lower Earth orbit. Um, and that point, it releases the, the satellite payload into space. So actually, it's not the aircraft itself that goes up into space, it's the rocket that's, that's sitting underneath one of its rings. And the aircraft then can come back, land, and do it all over again. Wow. So, Melissa, I don't understand why everybody doesn't launch satellites this way, because I, you know, I, down at Cape Canaveral, you've got to have acres and acres, miles and miles of space between you and anyone else near, nearby because you can't obviously have a rocket blasting off from Cape Canaveral with people nearby. It just wouldn't be safe. But this seems like you could do it from pretty much... I mean, if you can do it from a local airport in Cornwall, you can do it from pretty much any airport there is. So why isn't everyone doing this? Um, there are a few things that mean um, that we have to stick to certain re uh, requirements. So we need a really long runway. Um, not many airports around the world, um, let alone here in the UK, have the length of runway that's required. We also need things like direct access over the sea, low residential buildup around, like you said, and uncongested airspace above us. So that restricts some of the sites, um, other sites around the world. But yes, of course, you know, there, there is many commercial little spaceports that are starting up, and that's just because there's a massive demand now for more launch um, around the world. Um, at the minute, there's a, a bottleneck in the industry, a lot of new technologies trying to get into space, and they can't because there's only a handful of places doing it. So the demand's going up, the need for launch is going up, and that's why we're here to take advantage of that market opportunity. Uh, and just to be clear, this will be a private enterprise, not a British national enterprise? Um, no, it's actually part of the UK government, the UK Space Agency um, launched UK program. So they identified this need. The UK actually built a large majority of the world's small satellites, but we can't launch them from here. So the UK government identified this, this market opportunity um, and put out a bid to um, sites around the UK. Um, so it's actually a private um, public partnership between us, um, Cornwall Council, Virgin Orbit, and our partners um, down at Good and Hilly Earth Station. So it's uh, is this a mix separate of to the European all... space program? This is a Brexit thing, is it? Oh, no, this is part of the UK Space Agency program. Oh, so okay. we are also mm. part of the European Space Agency, and that's not going to change after Brexit. Interesting. Melissa Thorpe, okay. thank you for bringing us up thank to speed. Thank you very much. Best of luck with it. Thank you very much. Thanks so much.